Hey guys. Oh, I tried to do this earlier and totally sketched that I had a team Zoom right at the same time because I'm still, like I told you all before, working from home and um, trying to keep trying to kind of keep it all together. And I totally forgot that I already had something booked at that time. Hi, Jeannie. Thanks for jumping on. Jeannie was on my team Zoom earlier as well. Um, I'm getting text messages. Okay. I'm, I'm writing you. I'm, I'm writing you. Oh, Lord. I am chatting with you from my bathroom. I'm going to talk about what the menus are today, but I'm going to also talk a little bit about self-care. I wanted to share something with you that I'm doing from home. Um, and I'm going to ask you guys to go and vote for me because I want to win this challenge because I can win $3,000 cash. So I've been cooking every day and talking with you guys. And so I want you guys to come um, and, and go on to this. I'll, I'll post the link below and I'll talk about it. But um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. I have not been taking care of myself. I literally just plucked my eyebrows today. And it was, I felt like I was getting the whole unibrow. It's been crazy. I don't know about you guys, but trying to have self-care has been a tough one for me. Um, I felt so happy yesterday that we cleaned our whole house, that we completely scrubbed it, um, just the kitchen and the living room, but we have to get to the bedroom still. But it felt so good to me because we had to rearrange some of the rooms. Um, what my office was upstairs in this loft um, now has turned into Jazzy's room because she's having to study all day. She's a senior. She has to graduate on time. So she was in the room with her sister on the top bunk on this mat. We have a massive um, two queen size bunks, um, but it wasn't quiet enough. So she needed to go up into this other space. So we had to do a lot of cleaning and a lot of rearranging and we kind of got into it. My husband's been working. He's in construction. He works by himself. And so he was actually home yesterday to help me and it was epic. And I felt like a huge sense of accomplishment, but that wasn't self-care for me. Actually, with my autoimmune disorders, I actually woke up really sore and in a lot of pain. My feet were just inflamed and man, I slept really good because I took my stuff, but oh man, I woke up this morning just like couldn't move. So um, just real kind of groggy today and not really with it. I'm showered before bed so I went to bed with wet hair again so I don't like doing that that's normally not my gig I actually cannot stand leaving the house with wet hair hair or going out with wet hair but lately everything is off the charts confusing um all right so hi everybody thanks so much for joining and I really appreciate you for being here just sending out some love and some waves and um all right let's get started so I'm gonna go in the kitchen in a minute I'm gonna talk about lunch I want you guys to go on to this website is called elasticg.noxchallenge.com. This is Nox, and one side of it is full spectrum hemp, and the other side of it is nitric oxide. And I don't have the bottle. We normally have a bottle, but I don't have a bottle. I have sample packs. And this is what I've been doing on my face every day. If you go in and you go to that website, which I'm going to post below, you can, I'll give you instructions. You have to go to active challenge. You have to go to Knox challenge, then active challenge, and then scroll down and look for my picture. And the dial, the, there's like an arrow in the middle and you can slide it back and forth and you can vote for me um, and just click vote. It's free. You don't have to buy anything. You don't even have to like this stuff. Just do me a favor. Go on and vote for me, <laughs> please. Cause um, it's almost the end of the month and I want to win possibly $3,000 and I've been cooking for you guys. So come on, it'd be super fun if I could win and I can. So, um, so here I am, I'm going to do this real quick and just show you what I'm doing. I'm, there's two sides again, one citric ox, one nitric oxide and one CBD and I'm folding them in half and I'm pouring them into my hand like this. And what I like to do, there's, they kind of have, um, a little bit of a different kind of coloring a little bit and what I like to do is grab the end of my tweezers and mix it all together and get all that goodness in there to get it to kind of semi foam which it's doing now and then I take it and I put it on my dark spots and it's been really fading them but I just picked up my face this morning because I was plucking and I couldn't resist and so I'm now putting it on these darker areas to kind of give it a chance to soak in even the dark circles under my eyes right there 
and some stuff on my chin that I've got going on. And then the rest that's in my hand, I rub it on my neck and then I go in. I know I'm really vulnerable right now showing you guys this. My lips are so chapped right now because of all the cleaning yesterday. So watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get capillary recruitment on my face. I should have put my hair up. <laughs> um, hang on. Um, I'm gonna get capillary recruitment. Look how it's turning red. That is like bringing oxygen to the surface of my skin. If you look at my neck, hang on. You can kind of see the redness. That is what you want, you guys. Right now we need oxygen to our skin. Hang on, I'm putting my hair up so that you can see look how red my face is. It's really incredible and it feels so good and warm. And um, you guys, between this heat and my hot flashes, coronavirus can't get me because coronavirus isn't like heat. Look how ch look, chat my lips are. Um, I have some really cool lip stuff that is not in here from my company as well that we're testing out and it's over by my laptop in the other room. Um, anyhow, look at my face. It's totally gotten red and now it's starting to fade out. Whew, letting it dry. So if you guys can go on to Elastic G dot prime my body dot com and vote for me um scroll down find my face it says annette g sorry my phone keeps ringing if you scroll down and you slide that arrow back and forth you can see my before and after photos i'll post them below as well and you can vote for me and i could possibly win this challenge in my company it's free you do not have to join you do not have to give your name you don't have to do anything but you'd be really helping me out i really want to win it's almost the end of the month so I just washed my hands and now I'm just going to follow it. Oh, you guys, the Hydrate Pure is also, I have a brand new thing that I get to open. We got, we got this for free at our company um, event in Cancun that I, this incentive trip that I won. And it's this incredible lotion just ran out last night. Sorry, I didn't mean to have to hear you, have you guys hear all that. Um, Look at that gorgeous hydrate pure. It has lavender and vitamin C and it's an incredible face lotion. And now I just follow with that. And put it on all on top of it after it's absorbed. I'm just pull my lips because they're so chapped. And this is what I've been doing every single day. I'm doing it a little bit rough right now, but this has been like my saving grace, you guys. And if you want to see my before and after photos, Go check them out. I'll also post them below, but go to Knox Challenge for me. That's part of my self-care. Taking a bath with Epsom salt, plucking my eyebrows. I actually shaped my legs. All right, I know that's a little too much information. Don't. I picked up my face today, so it doesn't look good, and I don't have any makeup on. Um, that's something that I've been doing, too. I've also been, you guys, I'm painting. We're painting our own toenails. How are you doing with your roots? What are you guys doing to go and get your hair done? We all have to be our own hairdressers right now. And that's crazy for a lot of people. I actually do my own hair at home and I cut my own hair. And um, look, here's the lip sample stuff from Prime My Body. Um, I actually do my own hair and, and I also do my own roots. I just can't find anybody that really makes me happy in regards to doing my roots. So I do them myself. I just buy one of those like $8 packages and um, I do my own hair at home. I know that that's not easy for many people. If I had a choice, I'd go to my favorite hairdresser in Los Angeles. Oh my God, I love him. And um, his name's Billy Yamaguchi. If you guys wanna Google him, he's a celebrity hairstylist, but I can't really afford him. But um, someday I will be out there more often and able to do it. But in the meantime, I just kind of keep up with my own self and my own hair. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I'm in the kitchen now. I just wanna do that quick face thing. It feels really, really good. Um, these are fading, but I have to admit that um, when we were in Cancun, I did not use enough sunscreen, so some of them probably did kind of come back a little bit. So I'm hoping my next after picture will be a little bit better, but yeah. Um, last night we did nachos. They were great. I used these organic blue corn, see the non-GMO label. Those are the blue corn ones that we used, and these are the yellow corn ones that we used last night. 
Um, I have this out because we were gonna do leftovers. I used um, these black beans, um, also organic. And then I used two different kinds of cheeses. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna grab them out of the freezer. I'm gonna show you um, what we're having. Hang on one second. Well, actually I can't because my freezer is so packed. It's gonna take me time to get everything out. But tonight we're gonna actually do, I get the organic frozen pizzas and um, I really like them. I do Annie's, I do Simple Organic or Simply, Simply Organic. I do a lot of different brands. Um, at my local grocery store, I find that often um, that's a Smith's. There's more organic stuff right now, which is kind of funny. If I go to the um, the the local, the what's it called, the um, SIDS, it's a little more expensive. So I don't buy my frozen stuff there as much as I buy at Smith's. You kind of have to get to know when you live in a small town. You have to go to like several different places. But um, anyhow, we're going to do um, vegetarian pizzas is what we're doing tonight. And I'm making an arugula salad, which I do several times a week. And I love to put the salad on the pizza and eat it that way. Um, for lunch, what I'm gonna do, Miel wants mac and cheese, that's totally fine. And I have leftover pasta that I made the other day. And I am just gonna add some diced tomatoes in this pasta. I'm not doing a red sauce. I'm legit just gonna do um, a couple, I'm not gonna use this whole tin, it's too big. So I'm gonna pour the rest of it in a jar, but I'm actually gonna, um, this pasta is already made, so it makes it smooth and easy and fast. And I'm not gonna chop up onion or anything, I'm just gonna do a little bit of tomato um, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese for me and Jazz, and I'll see what other veggies are in there. There might be, there might be some spinach and other greens, but that's kind of what I'm gonna throw together. I'm not even gonna do it live right now. I'm just gonna um, take a picture of it and send it to you guys, because. I just wanted to jump on while I had a minute. Um, I wanted to talk about one more thing. I I want to, like, is anybody else feeling um, inadequate as, like, a parent? I feel I'm not meant to be homeschooling my child right now. And I'm struggling with being a parent. I'm struggling, like, it's not that I'm a bad parent. I know that I'm a good parent. It's not that. It's that I... I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses and I, you know, if I wanted to be a homeschooling parent, I would have signed up to be a homeschooling parent. Um, so it's kind of interesting to watch myself. Um, oh, hang on. I'm going to show you guys what I've set up. We're not even able to follow this schedule yet. Um, right now, Miel, did you do your drawing? I hope she did her drawing here. This is what we're doing. I created, I saw this online from another person, I did it more for like our family and what we're doing. Um, bedtime is not realistic. I have to change some of the times. We go to bed pretty late here. And um, so that's kind of what we're trying to do, but we're still not in it. I told my daughter like, did you go to, we, let's go. We have school today. And she's like, there's no school. We're not at school. Like she's not grasping it. So I, hoping my daughter's teacher will um, agree to meet on Zoom with some of the other kids and, and talk about, you know, ways that we can teach together because I'm still kind of grasping that responsibility. Are any of you guys going through that right now? Or maybe you're not at home with kids. I mean, I'm 51 years old and I have a six-year-old. So I, you know, I started the game a little bit late and, um, you know, it's kind of interesting to watch myself trying to, to, do maybe what other people are doing. Hi, Betty. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I'm trying to wave at you guys. Some people won't let me click on wave. It's really funny. Um, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you guys just listening. If you want to talk about it, I mean, in all honesty, my lifestyle in a sense wasn't, hasn't, stressed out or changed when it come came to like working from home that's what I do which is amazing I don't I that's not a problem for me working from home um is how I roll and I love it the hardest part for me is that I work from home and I normally have a house all to myself and now I, everybody's here and just you know recognizing that I have to structure my days differently I'm also kind of trying to do like um sort of some of my meetings and some of my, I have like um, strategizing meetings, one-on-ones on Zoom. And now what used to be like, I can only work in the day when my kids are at school is kind of interesting. I'm like, okay, let's actually meet later 
after my husband gets home, because he's in construction, he legally can go to work, but he's actually working by himself. And it's kind of, um, it's interesting to watch us all have to be malleable. And, you know, one of the things I also noticed is a lot of teachers aren't really like, a lot of teachers in this town aren't really tech savvy. And I'm like, they're uncomfortable. A few, not just, not my daughter's teacher only, but a couple teachers have said like, I'm not really comfortable with Zoom. And I'm like, listen, I'm not really comfortable with having my kid home. Like we need to meet halfway here because this is crazy. So um, hopefully you guys are all doing okay. Thanks for jumping on. This is gonna be a quicker Zoom today. I just, um, if anybody would just go and vote for me, <laughs> that would be awesome. It's free. You can just do it. You don't have to sign up for anything. I'll post it below. Thank you for joining. Um, this is a vulnerable one today. I have no makeup on and I've picked up my face, but you know what, you guys, this is me. This is who I am and I don't really need to shield that. So tonight, join me for dinner. I will show um, what we do for the pizza and the salad. I've already done that, so maybe not. Oh, wait, I have to tell you guys. Oh my gosh, almost forgot. Tomorrow night is, um, is going to be the night that I do chicken adobo. Hi, John Huntington. Welcome, babe. Tomorrow night is going to be my chicken adobo night. It is it. So I will be coming back on to tell you guys what you need to have if you want to join me in the chicken adobo cooking tomorrow night, and I'll give you a heads up. So what I'm going to do is I'll do another, I'll do another Facebook live in a little bit. I got it. My daughter's on watching on her iPad right now and this is not iPad time so I gotta um I gotta go shake that down real quick but I will come back on with recipes excuse me ingredients list for tomorrow and times for tomorrow and uh thanks so much for watching so much love to all of you have a great day